is that they differ. And I guess we'll start with first, who am I? Like I said, I'm TJ DeVries. I'm a NeoVim core contributor. I work on telescope.nvim. You might've heard of it. Uh, I really like the project. It's a lot of fun working on lately. And I stream on Twitch, which is what we're doing right now. By the way, this video I'm recording at 1.15 a.m. So if I like stutter or fall asleep or make some dumb comment, please just blame it on that instead of my ineptitude. Thanks. So one thing I want to say is why didn't I call this Vim versus NeoVim? And the reason is because I don't feel that they have to be at odds. I think the communities can work well together and hopefully we can be nice and friendly and have fun and keep on living in this larger Vim community. Um, I, I really like and respect Bram and the work he's doing in the Vim world. So I feel very sad when I see Vim versus NeoVim difference videos and they're just like Bram blah 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 or Vim blah 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 or NeoVim blah 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 whatever. I just think uh, they're two projects both trying to do cool stuff. So I'll just go into a few of the differences of why I like NeoVim. Once again, please keep in mind, I like Vim. Uh, that's why I use NeoVim. So for me, the very first thing is NeoVim exposes an API. This is an API that I think is uh, really great. It's standardized, it has naming conventions, it has, a, the, it has a lot of work being put into it to be standard. And the reason that we have done this is twofold. The first one is it makes scripting NeoVim from within much easier because you have this API that's uh, quite easy to work with, well documented and easy to understand. But the other cool part is that remote plugins, which are plugins that run in another process, can communicate over RPC with NeoVim. These plugins can be written in any language. So this is pretty cool. This is one of the first things I was exposed to about NeoVim that I was really excited about, was writing plugins in Python at the time and having them be able to run in this separate process and sort of, uh, it was very exciting for me to be able to do that. Um, and we, and any language that has a message pack library, you can do this in, which is pretty cool. And I guess sort of related to this, which is quite exciting, is that GUIs are just a plugin. You can look at the list of GUIs at NeoVim's repo. There's a wiki and you can just search for them on GitHub as well. And there's lots of them and they're all doing different stuff, which I think is pretty cool. For me, this is a uh, positive, but I know for some people this is a negative for NeoVim. So I'm just sort of highlighting this. I think it's cool that NeoVim just has one like single build and that all features are required, that there aren't any optional features. Um, as, as a plugin user and author, I've all, when I was using Vim, I, f I found it difficult to know what other people were using, what features they'd have, these kinds of things. And it was difficult to sort of rely on certain aspects. Um, but it's been nice that if I check NeoVim has this particular version, then we know that uh, these features will always be included. Which leads me into my probably favorite thing about NeoVim, especially for the last year, which has been configuring and implementing plugins in Lua. Um, and particularly not just as sort of like a regular scripting language, but becoming more and more directly integrated within uh, NeoVim. I think uh, Actually, some of this work has been shared between NeoVim and Vim uh, to improve the Lua integration there, but the ability to pass Lua callbacks into Vim functions we've added. We're working on things for auto commands and key maps, lots of other stuff, which is uh, really fun. The part that I like a lot about NeoVim though as well for Lua is that we ship with Lua JIT, which just has unlocked insane new possibilities for performance that uh, we just never had before inside of Vim and sort of this in process style of editing. So it's been very cool. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning telescope because I wanted to talk about this. Uh, we can write telescope, do certain aspects of telescope where we're searching and filtering up to maybe 40 or 50,000 items in process on keystroke. And we're able to do that without any delay, which has been really cool. And I'm excited for the future of this area with more C extensions and Lua rocks uh, integration to be able to do all sorts of new things using libraries that other people have made and integrate those into the editor. So for me, Lua is a really exciting aspect of uh, NeoVim. I, I also love, I use quite a lot the built-in terminal and async jobs. I know that those are both shared between Vim and NeoVim now, and that's great. And I'm happy that the community is able to use those features. Um, 
Some things I'm super excited about are Tree Sitter. I think it's going to unlock lots of new possibilities in terms of semantic movements or selections or highlighting that'll just be better than possible to make for a regex-based syntax highlighting, as well as being faster and a bunch of other sort of side benefits that are very exciting. And it's quite cool to be able to share this, not just within the Vim community, but elsewhere as Tree Sitter is uh, not required for NeoVim. And then uh, I spent a lot of time working on the built-in LSP for NeoVim and sort of just the general LSP community. And I'm just excited that uh, it's being integrated into NeoVim, whether you use that or other LSP alternatives or don't use LSP at all. I think it's cool to be providing sort of this framework or setup that we're able to integrate. I have another video on my YouTube channel talking about why I think built-in LSP is very exciting. And lastly, this isn't actually a difference. It's just one of the reasons that I love NeoVim and Vim, and I just want to remind people that it's super cool. That we're able to work together, and lots of things work exactly the same And Vim and NeoVim because they're forks, and we on the NeoVim team still try and merge Vim patches to NeoVim, and we try and send patches back to Vim. So we're able to use VimL plugins, uh, like a lot of them. There are some features that we haven't implemented, you know, sort of uh, exactly the same as Vim has them now. Maybe someday we'll be able to. We're open to merging more patches and working more closely with everyone. So I guess in summary, I just want to remind everybody that ne Vim and NeoVim, I think, can live together in harmony and be happy working together. And it makes me sad to see people making videos that are angry about the two. Those are just a few things that I like in particular about NeoVim. And I just wanted to share that with everybody in one video instead of answering the questions a bunch of times on my Twitch channel all the time. Anyways, so that's me. I'm TJ. You can find this presentation as well as my GitHub and Twitch linked here. And I'll probably put these in the episode uh, description as well below. Thanks, everybody. Bye.